Don't you just hate it when you're trying to build a rocket ship to take ghosts to the stars so that they can be at peace, uh, but the witch who's building the rocket is oh, just making fun of you and making you feel a bit silly. We've all been there. This is Opus Rocket of Whispers, I think is the full name, and it is an unusual game that mixes narrative elements and top-down exploration to create a peculiar story. It's a post-apocalyptic world, which uh, was fine until some horrible plague happened. When it was fine, it was standard practice for people to send rockets into space filled with, I think, the ghosts of the departed, and that they would be, as I say, reunited with the stars, and that would make them feel better and content. However, this plague's happened, and the witches, who are the people who would kind of guide the spirits up into space, uh, there were only 12 of them, and I think there that aren't that many anymore. Faye is one of them. Uh, she's been apparently resurrected after 25 years of being frozen uh, in like cryo sleep. It's not really explained uh, at this point because we are only about kind of half an hour or so into the game. It is a strange <laughs> thing uh, with a lot of different elements. So on the one hand, let me just tap the lower left hand corner. This is what I'm trying to do. Gather these different materials that will help me build my rocket. So I've collected a car engine part, got a a few signs and bits lying around. I want to find these things, the tail fin, this is something I need to locate, which is around here somewhere, uh, and I found other bits and bobs that will help me. When I gather them, I go back to Faye and she starts building the rocket for me. So what I should probably do is get some sleep now, which is top right hand corner, and then go back out on the trail and I can show you the world that we're exploring. While all this is going on, I'm being whispered at, I'm being talked to by the ghosts that are all hang hanging around the map populating the world because the burial, the space burial, as it's called when you fire ghosts up in a rocket and send them off into space, uh, hasn't happened for ages. So the world is just full of these ghosts waiting to be returned uh, to, to the cosmos. As this one says, I want to go home. Why did you leave us? John saw this stuff when he was a kid. We had a little flashback from 25 years ago to start the game and then we're kicked to here where it's just kind of the two of them left trying to make hide nor hair of what's going on. Right, we're in exploration mode now. Faye mentioned we need material for the rocket nose cone. Let's see, what's rocket 13 missing? So this is the kind of schematic. So we need a cooling furnace and we need a couple of metal scraps. I will keep this in mind. Now, let's go and explore. So this bit plays out mm, like a top-down kind of thing, as you can see. You can walk into buildings to explore them. I've already had a rummage through this warehouse and a couple of other things. He tracks along fairly slowly. I can't explore those. Yeah, I thought that wind turbine might contain the fins that I need. These are all sparkly bits here. These are ghosts. As I walk through here, you can see, oh, the ghosts have given us weird memories. Post-plague report. Malkuth announces first space burial to be held since the plague. A big dream for such a small place. I feel compelled to stay and watch. Can you piece together the kind of stuff that happened and what went wrong? Is it about to start? That's another one of the ghosts just whispering stuff in my ear. Why isn't the rocket ready? Which is the most common complaint for the ghosts. Hello? Ah, remember what I said about wind turbines and fins? This might be promising. These little palm indicators, the hands, are like this is me scavenging for stuff and it gives you a little readout of how long it's going to take and it's going to wind the clock forward. Found them! As I thought, the wind turbine, ah, they're the fins for the tail. Outstanding. So it gives you quite a lot of detail and like specific stuff that you don't really need to know, it's just sort of it's an unusual game, it's filling in these like weird gaps. Right. So here, it's giving me a few invisible walls. One of them is this one, saying I can't get past until I have snow gear. Another one is on the north side of the map, where it's like, you kind of need some bolt cutters to get through this gate, uh, neither of which I have yet. So if I head away, I can head back home at any time by hitting that home button in the bottom right. But I'm up for going for a, yeah, a bit further. I've never been down here before. Cooper Road, Sector 1. Built to connect the new Malkuth mine to the east. Oh dear. It does want me to stop when... 
Ooh, this seems like a bad place. It's getting really dark. And when that happens, bad stuff happens. So I'm going to head back to the rocket factory. Now, if we press the spanner, I forgot what a spanner was then. I wanted to say scalpel. Here you go. See that new rocket fin? There's the cooling furnace and whatnot. But I can do the fins. So it's going to take a while, it says. So now I've activated that and she's making the fins. And gradually over the course of the game I'm going to... Hang on, no, no, carry on building, carry on building. I, I went stop to get back, but I guess... Oh good, it is in progress. I thought because it pulled up it was like she suddenly stopped working on it. And it's like, that'll do. I soldered half a joint and now it's done. So once I'm back, I can then go back and look at the wider map or I can just go to sleep because it is kind of night time. And when John goes to sleep, he starts seeing things. He gets flashbacks and the ghosts talk to him and whatnot. Not this time, though. Right, what do I need to do today? There's a voice in my head. Oh, God, this is new. Top left. Yeah, sure we can. So it's reminding me that I need to get those two things. So it's it's an unusual game. I like it when developers try and do something different. I like it when developers try and bring narrative uh, into a game and put it at the forefront rather than action. This is not, as you can see, an action game. There has been no combat whatsoever. I haven't had to fight anything. It's purely been just rummaging around, exploration... Okay, I need a metal cutter for that. Like the metal cutters uh, I mentioned earlier. Let's go in here. No, I can't do anything. See, I need need a few more things. Let's poke my nose in down here where it's not wanted. Trucks used to drive in and out around the clock. It's always kind of painting the world. It's giving you information and details about this kind of abandoned area. It's trying to sort of give you a sense of place. And I'm intrigued by it. Some of that... Whoa. Whoa. Not feeling so well. That ghost had a real physical effect on me. That's not happened before. Strange. Yeah. I'm kind of looking forward to playing more of this. It's it's odd. It's got some stuff that I'm not so keen on. So th there's a few grammatical issues. And, you know, if you're a bit of a pedant, that annoys me. Uh, I don't know if it's been translated and that's why, but... It seems a bit rough around the edges in places, and obviously this slow pace isn't going to be for everyone, but I am curious to see what their game plan with this is, what the end game is. So, if you want to take a look, it is Opus Rocket of Whispers, and uh, it'll be out this week on iPhone and on iPad. Thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.